morning. My name is Cynthia, and I'm going to be giving the webinar today. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to talk about BNB Vestor. BNB Vestor is actually a separate application. We do sell it on its own, but all our VFX subscribers have complete access to BNB Vestor completely free. It's one of our sub products. If you go into your control panel where you have your main product, you will all see that you have these tiles here, BNB Vestor, Deal Generator, Home Deal Finder, Buyer's Pro Lead Generator. Those are sub products that you can use com completely free with your subscription to that to ReFX. Today we're going to talk specifically about BNB Vestor. What is BNB Vestor? BNB Vestor is an, an a page that does an analysis of the data from Airbnb that is bed and breakfast uh, rentals, per day rentals, and allows you if if you are interested in incurring into this type of business about the per day rentals, it will allow you to analyze the data and seek out which are the best places to have this type of rentals, which are the best seasons, which are the best type of properties to put into this business. So let's go. Let's get started. You can enter to your BNB best either directly from your control panel, clicking this icon, or you can go into your website and You can enter your BNB Vestor either from the control panel in your ReFX, clicking on this tile here for BNB Vestor, or going into your web, into your browser, type in bnbvestor.com, and that will take you to the site. Once you're in the site, you actually have to log in. I'm already logged in. The credentials that you will use to log in, you have to make sure you're logged in. Your name should appear here in the top right corner. And the credentials you will use are the same credentials that you use to log into your ReFX. That is the email that you use to log into ReFX and the password that you use to log into ReFX. If your account, if you have a ReFX account, Platinum Professional or Professional Dialer that's for one county, you will have access to BNB Vestor for the state of Florida. If your account, ReFX account is for all counties, you will have access to BNB Vestor for all the states in the United States. BNB Vestor is actually not only present in the United States is actually worldwide. But each subscription is for one country. For example, if you need to have the information for Canada or any other country, you would ha actually have to subscribe to that country. As I said, we do offer BNB Vestor as an individual application, but as a ReFX subscriber, you have complete access to it. But in this case, it would be only for the United States. Okay, so let's get started and see what we can see.
If you have any question at any moment during the webinar, please go ahead and type in your question in the question and access, act, an answer section, and I'll try to answer them as we go along. Okay, so here we are in our B investor. Let's see what we can see here in the screen. First of all, I will see the overview. I see several graphs here. Let's see what they are about. The first one is rental index. What this shows me is how the how the B and B, the bed and breakfast business of rentals have grown over the months in the United States. Right now I'm looking at the whole of the United States. So I see that in February I have, I had a 2020, I had 750K rentals in the whole of the United States, that's b and rentals. And it grew, it grew up each month you see it's a steady growth up to February. Right now we have 1,029. So have you seen this is a, this is the BNB rentals is steadily growing of over the months. If I go to the next graph, what I see in the second graph is rental type. This is which type of property is more sought after in the bed and breakfast business. I see here it's studio. You have 68,000 one room apartments or houses would be one 400,497. The two rooms, so the most popular ones are the one room rentals. You have also two rooms would be the second one and so on. If we keep going down, I see the host. We have two, three different types of hosts. There are hosts that have single, a single property in the business of b and rentals. Those are the most popular and multi-listing would be up to three or four listings. And super hosts have over five listings in, under their name. This, last graph also shows that. Then we have the tab for occupancy. What is occupancy will show me which months are most popular, most have the most rate of occupancy during the year. Right now I'm looking at the whole of the United States. I'm going to zoom into Florida. Let's go into region and put in Florida. Apply. There, now I have only the state of Florida. I still have the, the rental index it has steadily gone now up from last year in February 2020 up to February 2021, still the same tendency as the rest of the United States. Same thing with rental types, although here the one room and two rooms are very more, pretty much similar here as opposed to when we were looking at the both the whole country, we saw that the one room was way up, much more 
elevated at the two rooms. The, as far as the host, we have pretty much the same. Let's go to the occupancy. So to see which months are the most popular, we see that the best months for this type of rentals are March, June. Mm, we see that October and January are also pretty much the same. April is the least popular month. So if you're going to incur into this business, you would probably want to get started in a month that has a very high occupancy so that you can get back your inversion as quick as possible. Then we have the average daily rate. The average daily rate is how much uh, per day rentals is in the area. And we have, it's pretty much steady throughout the whole year. We have the number of listings in this blue line and the green bar is the average daily rate. The revenue. The revenue is the total monthly income. It doesn't include taxes, it doesn't include service charges or any additional. It's just the net total income per month. Again, it's pretty much the same April being the bet the worst month, but the rest of the year is pretty much steady. You have also here a comparison for regular rentals. These are regular rentals, probably for at least for three months, six months, or a year. Then we have the agents and listing agents. Places, in places we have the breakdown by county, the breakdown by county of the step of all the information. We have the listings, the occupancy, the average daily rate, the revenue, and the additional revenue. What the additional revenue is, it's a comparison of what the revenue for regular rentals as opposed to per day rentals. So for example, we have that in Monroe County, you have a 140% revenue as opposed to the regular rentals. However, we can see, and you have a lot of listing there in Monroe, you have 3,400 and 34 listings, so it, and an occupancy of 85, so 85, 86% of the time, the rooms so or whatever you're renting is occupied. So it's actually quite good. So that would be a good place to invest. If I go, let's go to my, Miami Dade. Let's go to Miami Dade and click here and go. That will show me only the county of Miami Dade. Down here, I will have the comparison of active rentals, number of listings available. So I have in Miami Dade, I have. BMV rentals 12,913 and regular rentals 27,374. The average daily rate, as I said, is the average rate of accommodation per occupied room. That is the average sale price per listing. You see there is a big difference between the average daily rate for B&B &B and 
for regular rentals. For regular rentals, you would divide the total monthly lease divided by 30, so you can get the average daily. And the MB is a set per day rentals is 147, and for regular rentals is 70,000. The occupancy, of course, the occupancy in regular rentals will always be higher because it's at least, you can't count it per day because it's actually a month by month lease, usually three months, six months or, other, or a year. So you will always see that the occupancy and regular rentals is pretty much almost always very close to 100. But even though the BNB is lower, and actually 60% is a pretty good number, you see that the revenue that is the total monthly income, again, not including taxes or service charges or any additional, is actually higher, 2,682 as opposed to 1,979. <clears throat> so even though the occupancy in regular rentals is a lot higher, the revenue still is much higher for BNB than for regular rentals. If I go there, let's go click on the map and go to the listings in one of the cities. This will show me the listings here in this, in the Palmetto area. I see, I can click up here, this is, if I click off the BNB, I only see the regular rentals. Let's turn on the regular, the BNB and turn off the regular rentals. These are all the BNB rentals in this area. If I click on one of the little red circles, I will have the information here. Ontario Place, Bungalow in Carter Bay, three gas, two bedrooms, one bath. Average the average price is 70 $8, average occupancy is 61%. Average revenue, this is per day, per month is 1,446. And additional revenue, in this case, it doesn't apply. If I click on another one, I see this one is a one bedroom, two guests, two one bed, one bathroom, average price $550. $5, this is per day, occupancy 34%. So I can look at any of these properties. I can also go to hosts. In the host, I will see the host in this area with all their listings. For example, I have Andres. It has three listings. If I click on him, it will show me all three listings he has with pictures. No more records and information of all each one of his listings. I keep scrolling down. Let's see, this one has two listings, two listings. These are all one listing, one listing. I think we can find one that has more listings. Well, this is an area that it seems we don't have super hosts. We have regular hosts, single hosts. Let's see. Judith has two properties under BNB. Here on the map, as soon as we come here, we can actually go to Airbnb. If I click on the property, it will open the Airbnb listings of this property where I can see all the information that's actually in the Airbnb page. The data, the 
BNB Vestor analyzes is actually the Airbnb information. So this is where our data source. While that loads, let me show you another thing. BNB has an academy, so it's, you actually have an interest in this. You would have to subscribe directly to Airbnb to BNB Vestor in an annual subscription. The BNB Academy includes uh, videos that will show you how to incur in this business, how to manage the properties, all that you need to know to actually be in the, BN, in the bed and breakfast business. It also includes um, webinars, live webinars, and not at this point due to the restrictions due to the, the coronavirus, but at some point we did have some in place meetings and hopefully we will return to do that at some point. Then we have up here, you have rent a deal or buy a deal. What is this? If you do decide you want to incur in this business, you can buy a property. And here in the investor will show you the best properties in that. You don't actually have to buy the property. You can also rent it. You can rent the property. Uh, Accommodated to have it as a BNB, put it as your listing. Let's wait for it to load. And start out with not actually own properties. Let's go back to Florida. It took me out of Florida and it took me again in the whole country. So let's go back to Florida. Let's go to Kissimmee. Okay, so I'm in rent a deal in Kissimmee. So these are properties that are, have list price for rent or properties that are being rented that you could actually try and rent and use them as BNB. Same thing with buy a deal. These are properties that are for sale that the analysis of the data that the, this page BNB Investor has made would be properties that could and would be great for using as a BNB property. Again, we have here number of listings available. Here we have the average daily rate in the area. We have occupancy, number of book days divided by the total numbers of days available for rent. And actually this is a good area. We have here 94% occupancy. Revenue, the total monthly income does not include taxes, services, charges, or additional charges. So here we have the overview in this area. Again, those, these are the graphics that we saw before, but these are specifically for this area. In this case, we see that the best type of properties are three and four bedroom properties. We have multi-listing agents and single listing agents. Again, the single listing agents are quite more than the ones that have more than two listings. Let's go to Roy and show you what this is. Additional commercial insurance is percentile calculated based on listing rental price. It may vary of the area.
management deposit, B and B. These are things that you would have to analyze at the moment of actually incurring into the business. These are things that would be part of the total package when calculating the total income and revenue of the properties. Let's go to buy a deal. Again, I think it will take me out of the area and put me back into the whole of the United States. So let's wait for it to open. And then go back to a specific area. Book to see me again. These are properties that the system has analyzed, are properties that are active for sale that you might be uh, you might be interested in buying to put into the B and B breakfast, the bed and breakfast market as your own listing. I click on one, I will go to the overview. I have the regular comps, I have the B and B comps. Details, fractional, fractional ownership, houses, perfect conditions so in the heart of Kissimmee, quiet community to live on, convenience. So you have all the information of all the properties so you can analyze and maybe think of incurring into the bed and breakfast business. Let's go back to the investor. So that's why I, so I'm sure you have seen at some point when you do your searches, let's go to my follow-up and open the overview of one of the properties that I have in my follow-up. Reapex is closely linked to be an investor as you have seen probably seen when you do a search and go to the overview of, the, of any of the properties here. Let's go to the overview one of this. You always have the rental comps. These are rental, regular rentals that show you the rental, the comparables of properties in the area of the subject property. This is the property that you're looking at. Right now, I'm now in my ReFX account. So in my regular rentals, it will show me properties within a 0.5 mile area that have 10% more or less the same square, square footage as the one that I'm looking at that are under regular rental that is a lease for six months, a year, and it will show me the list price. But if you have noticed, you also have B and B comps in all the properties and in all the areas where BNB is present, you will find this tab in the overview of the properties that you look at. Because ReFX will have the comparables, actually this one doesn't seem to have any, let's go to follow up and select another one. The BNB comps will always show you the average daily rate in the area of the properties that you're looking at.
Remember, if you have questions about BND or Deal Generator or any of our sub products, you can always schedule a coaching with us. We will we will happily schedule a one on one with you. We have availability from Monday through Friday from nine in the morning till six in the afternoon. Just give us a call, ask us for a coaching, and we'll be happy to make an appointment for you. Also remember that we have this little blue bubble in the bottom left corner, that's a live chat. If you have a question at any moment of the day, work day, you can just ask, type in your question there and we'll answer you as soon as we see it. If you're working off hours or on a weekend, just leave your question there and we'll try to answer it as soon as we see it the next morning. We're also available through our phone numbers, 888-349-5368. You can call us at any moment during office hours and we can help you with anything you might want. Well, this is loading. Do any of you have any questions? Go ahead and type them in in the chat section and I'll be happy to answer. So remember that we have BNB Vestor direct, direct access through your control panel deal generator Deal Generator is an app that you can use on your phone. And it's used for what's called driving for dollars. Deal Generator will allow you to have at hand the information on the properties you want to actually physically visit. The application will map out the best route to go to the property and knock on the door and have at your hand all the information that you need for that. Being able to see comparables, the information of the owner, the contact information, and keep the follow system in of the property linked to your ReFX so you can also have, are able to send emails, text messages, and faxes from the follow-up of your system in ReFX and at the same time, have it at hand when you're in the field knocking on doors. If you want to see more about the old generator, they, we have previous webinars on that. And remember, we have a YouTube channel where you can look up any information and any videos and anything that you would like to know about. And again, remember that we are available for any of your questions. Here it's the BNB of the property that we were looking at. Here you have all the information directly from BNB. And here's from where the system takes all the analytics with our BNB. So if we don't have any question, it was a pleasure being with you today and hope you have a very good weekend and we'll see you here next friday have a great weekend bye